do have, uh, very unfortunately, a mayor who's uh, a homophobe. And so basically he said, you know, the faggots are stinking up the city. In Lithuania, we don't have an annual pride. So last year in Vilnius, there was the first uh, Vilnius Pride, which was grassroots organized. And uh, yeah, we decided that it's time to do it in Kaunas, which is the second biggest city of Lithuania. And at the same time, it is unfortunately famous for being very conservative. But our slogan is, we are everywhere. And that was also the, the main idea that we are not just a bunch of you know gays that uh, live uh, a rich life in a capital. There are a lot of different LGBT people and they literally are everywhere. Starting to organize it, we had no idea that it would be so big. But, uh, but at the backlash that we reserved, received from the very beginning, I think helped us to mobilize people. Regarding organizing, why it was so difficult? Because we went to municipality with three different routes and all of those three were rejected because of ridiculous uh, bureaucratic reasons. Then we appealed to court and we had to go through two courts and only yesterday, which is a day before the event, we got the highest Lithuanian court uh, decision that uh, municipalities attempt to obstruct Kona's pride are unconstitutional and that they have to let us do this. The justice has prevailed. <laughs> I think we're not Poland yet, but there are politicians who are constantly attempting to drag us there. And we live here, we are used to it, but I think internationally Lithuania has one of the highest rates of LGBTQ plus uh, teenagers uh, hurting themselves, attempting suicide. Uh, I think statistically around uh, one third of all LGBTQ plus people uh, experience either physical violence or discrimination in different areas of life. So the situation is not great at all. Also generally like, the climate um, is very much influenced by also the Catholic Church. And now since probably the, the first Pride there's a big change in the sense of more and more people saying that we, do, we are not against you, just don't go out in the streets. And, and it prevails like on all levels of the society, all classes, all types of people, all professions. There's always like you would deal with this attitude at all times, wherever you go. And it's more and more clear that in a way like having the right to protest uh, requires a, a bigger fight also due to these to these attitudes that people have. And so it really creates this, this climate of shame. And I think we also saw during the Pride, the general anti-protester and an effort to block the, the march. Uh, and the things that they were shouting and they were saying and the posters that they were saying, it's really to enforce and reinforce that shame. But uh, yeah, today we saw more people cheering for us and being uh, on our side than, than the other way around. Yeah. This is just the, the cherry on the cake, the march. But all the conversations that were held in families, working places, the conversations that were really like fostered, like people were co coming out also because of the pride. Seeing how many people there were, it was an absolute success, yeah.